everyone and welcome to the Lonely Ladder. Uh, this time I'm, be I'm playing Dragonaut, not as a support like Lanham and DK, but uh, as a supposedly carry, although I'm doing a very bad job at it right now. Um, so you may notice that it, the game is already on, uh, the problem is my computer actually crashed for some reason, so it's a little bit sad, but you know, that's the thing that happens sometimes. So I'm gonna be stealing this creep if I can. And I'm not gonna be able to reach the profit, so never mind that. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna get this poor man shield, and then I'm gonna go for a soul ring, which is pretty much the build I always go for. Or actually, you know what? Um, I'm not gonna go for a soul ring, I'm just gonna go for an orchid. I really like this build. I know it's kind of weird for most people, but uh, silence is going to be very helpful against Weaver, against Queen of Pain, against anyone basically. It's gonna force some um, some Lincoln's here, and I'm missing every last hit. Oh my lord, I'm really bad at that. <laughs> I haven't been playing for a long time, like I said in my last video. Uh, so hopefully, no, bottom lane shouldn't be doing fine either. Yeah, actually, bottom lane is having a hard time. Ah, uh, that Nature's Prophet is really, really being an <laughs> annoying. <clears throat> So we have an Ursa who is in the jungle and we have our Silencer who is trying to help middle lane. Uh, middle lane I think died and gave the first blood so he's not up, up to a good start. There's a lot of creeps, so if I go, I'm probably gonna die, but... Oh, actually, he may be able to get the kill here. Yep. So we just have to make sure that... Oh, he TP'd away. There we go. Take this, this, and I'm gonna get boots. Oh, Ursa just got killed by neutral. Maybe it's, um, I mean, sometimes they do it on purpose. Uh, they just go back to base faster this way, and they just like buy before dying, so it's fine. Never mind. I'm really bad at this. So he has boots. Alright. Good to know. <laughs> uh, Dragonaut used to be one of my uh, main hero because I really like this hero. Now, apparently, I really need some uh, some more work before I get back to it. So. Okay, I have one tango, I don't have any mana, so even if I reach level 6, I won't be able to do anything. Oh, okay, we're in top lane. Oh! We got the, uh... Ah! Fuck. We got the Aegis at least, so I wasted my Cloudy Potion there. Oh, Klop is here. No, I'm not gonna go there. Uh, she's gonna be able to blink away anyway. Oh, actually, she uh, is she going for me? It looks like she may be. I'm gonna hide here in the trees over there. Uh, here is pretty much the place that everyone goes in to check, to I mean to hide. So, like, Furion can just go and use the treants here, and then I'm pretty much doomed. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not gonna go out here. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't checked here yet. They're probably gonna do that. Oh, Pudge is really getting crushed here. Okay. Uh, maybe we can go for this guy. Uh, I can't outrun him. Alright, this game is looking really bad. Um, something I said before I actually, um, you know, before I actually crashed, so that it is not recorded here is that we don't have any disable and that is a big problem oh I'm dead uh oh nice I'm not dead Woo! Woo! <laughs> And we even got the Ursa, uh, the Enigma, and the Queen of Pain. That's good. Oops, someone's here. Oh, Pudge. Oh, Pudge, you're still alive. That's good. <laughs> no, what the hell, Pudge? Nice. We got another one. Just gonna go for him. Yeah. And they chase too far. Against heroes with a lot of mobility, like Queen of Pain and uh, and um, uh, Weaver, and oh, basically everyone in their team except Enigma, uh, you have to be very careful not to chase too far, especially in the early game, because the respawn timer is very low, and they'll just be able to TP and blink in uh, very quickly once they die. So something that is really really uh, dangerous to do is keep on chasing long after we kill someone like Queen of Pain but Ursa is actually doing work right now he's like murdering everyone and he still hasn't lost his Aegis so that's very good Enigma killed Pudge that's good oh I mean that's not good Pudge being on my side Uh oh 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 he may be able to Oh this enigma Okay I'm gonna try to get TP Okay I got one Oh, I don't have mana for the uh, yeah for the Blade Fury, so let's not chase too far. So Ursa got the kill on the Weaver. That's good. I got a free kill on Enigma. That's good too. And for some reason, he's offering us Triants. Ah, god damn it! Stop, stop missing all the last hits. Good. Gotta focus a little more. But so far, it doesn't look so bad anymore. 9 to 6, uh, we have a lot of damage uh, uh, late game, so it's not that bad. We don't, we still don't have any disables, but I mean, nothing a couple of, um, nothing a couple of hex can't fix. So, imagine Silencer gets a little fat, which is not going to be the case since he's a support Silencer. And I don't expect him to be, you know, getting an <laughs> hex or anything. Oh, so everyone's missing here. I will be TPing to the top lane because the lane is pushing, so I will be able to farm there. And bottom lane is too dangerous, so I'm just gonna go there. Okay. 
Okay, so I don't have Omni Slash, but I do have Blade Fury, and most of their damage is magical damage, so I'm fine. Although, um, you have to remember also that Black Hole cancel Blade Fury. It's not even that it goes through, it's just that it cancel. So she she just used a lot of things on a Illusion, and that's very good. Indeed, well played. I'm keeping, uh, always keeping Tango's and a TP scroll, especially in the early game when I have enough slots. This is uh, to avoid getting sprouted and you know being useless because you don't have a Tango or a hatchet to get out of the tree. And the TP scroll, of course, because as you saw, it's easy, easy to get a kill on like you know unsuspecting enemies when they overcommit uh, TP and oh shit! Well, that's a dead courier. Can we get something here? I do believe we can get something here. He's dead. Oh no. I'm dead. Oh, he bought back! Okay, so we were bought back at least, but that's not good. We still lost everyone there, except for Ursa, who was farming the woods. And I'm not saying that as a, oh, well, what the fuck, why is Ursa farming the woods? Uh, Ursa farming the wood is actually okay here because I don't believe he could have done anything to, you know, prevent the uh, carnage. Like Pudge says, it doesn't really matter because we all scale pretty well with farm, except maybe for Pudge and well, even Arrow Titan for uh, you know just scales decently well. And as yeah, and as as our dear Ursa says here, um, a blank dagger would help immensely. Although it's not as easy as that. I mean, uh, these three heroes, even if you blink on them, they can just blink away or wind walk away or, you know, just like Tsukuchi away, so... Can we do something here? Mm, probably not. There we go. We kill. Oh, it's nice. Be careful, everyone's missing, so let's not stay here too long. He has a blink dagger, that's good. The Ignat is in the middle lane. Um, as we saw last fight, he had mech. Yeah, let's, let's not stay here for too long. A uh, blinking from Queen of Pain would probably just spell or doom. Although I do still have Omni Slash, so if she blinks in, she dies. He doesn't have Blink Dagger, that's good. Um, Pudge may be able to get something here. Nope, that's a total miss. And that's a kill. Oh, she has. I'm gonna come in. God damn it, this stun! Okay, so I missed this one. So I wasted my ultimate there. I shouldn't have done that. Getting a farm.
Von Gordon Weaver. Okay, interesting. The thing is, we do have damage already. Um, we have a deceptive amount of damage. Ursa deals a lot of damage. Uh, Pudge also deals a lot of damage. They don't have high HP, so that's also something we have to keep in mind. You don't really need to have insane amount of damage if your enemies don't have a lot of HP themselves. So, again, it's all a question of adapting to what your enemies have. So this guy has Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade on Prophet. So again, we do get a Roshan, that's good. I almost have my uh, Orchid, that's good also. And I'll get some Dust. And Pudge is actually landing hooks now, so that's very nice. Just get the farm quickly. Nope. There's someone here. With dust, we can kill. Uh, maybe not Weaver because he has time lapse. Pudge is actually doing work. Oh no. Okay, let's just push very quickly. Orchid is seconds away. I have to be very careful because we don't have the tier 2 right now, so they could very, very easily just. Oh, okay, they were going down. That's good. Queen of Pain is the most dangerous one here, so. Well, go back to base. What are you doing here, courier? Okay, it looks like they're going on, on the bottom lane. We'll be able to get there in time. So I have my Orchid. That's going to be very good against Queen of Pain. Come on, give me my Orchid. Thanks. Nice. So she's down. If he managed to slow someone down, there's a lot of people who are gonna die. Nice. He did. No, 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 <laughs> no, jump on Weaver, please. Oh, but that hook, that hook really, really did a lot of job. Oh, too bad. He almost got him. So somehow, apparently there's still a weaver around. Or there was a weaver around. Let's just heal everyone. And I got it. Nice. Now it's time to get my Aghanim Scepter. Oh, Silencer. Oh, nice. No, not nice. Too bad. Um, 
And the reason why I go Agadim here is because everyone is squishy. Uh, if I had enemies like Ursa, Pudge, uh, you know, Sven or anything like that, I wouldn't go for this build. But usually I go for Juggernaut only when I have squishy targets against me because that's uh, that's actually... Okay, so... Warded. I got hit by a Nature's Prophet ultimate, so... Very easy to assume that it's warded. Oh! Oh, she missed. Is she still around? Is she still around? Is she still around? And I have dust. Uh, might die here. No, she's not going for me. Oh, she's not going for me, so I'm, I'm not dead. I'm fine. Hey, 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 kill me. No, my ward. Oh, 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 oh. No, I got silence. Yes. Yes. I'm alive. <laughs> Somehow she didn't want to land that last right click on me. She used the poison and she assumed it would be enough and then she got silenced and died. So that was nice. That was really nice. Really, really clutch save by Silencer. Nice hook again. Oh, and he didn't have the time to go invisible. Nice, nice job. Oh. Wait. <laughs> He's scaring her away? Oh. 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 And got killed by neutral. Nice. Okay. It's only 10,000 gold, and I have... Ooh, sorry, I can't TP. Okay, top tower, TP, 18 seconds. So I'm just gonna try to split push in the meantime. Oh, he sees me. Wait, he sees me and he stays there? I don't understand. Okay, so maybe he just saw me and he was like, eh, well, okay, all right. Well, I have to assume that they know where I am. Prophet Ultimate didn't bounce on me, so I guess he wasn't following me around. That's interesting. I think I can solo kill anyone I find one on one here. I just have to be very careful that they are not more than one. Almost level 16. If I can wait until I get level 16, it would be nice. So we know that one of them are, is actually top lane. Oh, nice. Well, that was enough. Nope. I'm too slow. <laughs> but I got my Agon Inceptor, if that's uh, all I care. Oh, top lane. Top lane! Oh, black hole. Oh, nice! This is gonna hurt. I am not using the right way. No, we're we're going one after the other.
Oh no! No, the courier! My bad. Oof, that was bad. I should have followed Silencer instead of... Yeah, should I follow Silencer? Not really sure what he is expecting. Windrunner suicided to neutral, alright. Okay, so now now we have several choices. Uh, we could go for Senjin Yasha just to uh, be able to go faster during the team fight, and we really really need that kind of mobility. Or we also could go for Desolator to make it even stronger uh, when we use Ultimate, and to be able to because as I said, all these guys are squishy. They have low HP and they have low armor. It's not agility heroes. All of them are intelligence heroes, bar the Weaver. So Weaver will have a decent um, you know armor, but Desolator improves your damage output by a shit ton and when I say shit ton I'm not even joking it's really really that high see he has six plus five armor if I have desolator it's only five armor and with only five armor and she missed silencer that's interesting okay now she suicides goodbye lol and now they are flaming each other this is good for us too. So the good the good thing with um, with the uh, orchid build is that you have you have a, a way to actually <laughs> spam your spells. You have insane amount of uh, mana, so you don't need uh, any you know you don't have any problem just uh, spamming your healing wars every time you want it. And goodbye. Oh, it's an illusion. Never mind. Okay. There you go. Take a cheese. That's good. My ultimate only has 70 seconds, so I can just spam it anyway. Doesn't really matter. I use it on the illusion. Uh, it's like, oh well, you know, doesn't. Okay. Just saving Pudge here. Ooh, that was absolutely not on point. Queen of Pain is now fighting versus... I don't have my ulti! Oh, and two BKBs, alright. No, I used it on the creep, oh my lord. So bad. We're getting kited around, it's not even funny. Oh, crap. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Goodbye. No, 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 Weaver, fuck you! <laughs> Weaver, no, Weaver. <laughs> Okay, so we got Queen of Pain. We lost a tower though, that's not good. Okay, so we're getting kited around. I need to have my Desolator. Uh, we, I'm not doing enough damage, so Desolator here. Um, yeah, Senjin Yasha is not going to do enough damage as well, so let's just go for the big damage. So as you can hear, I'm still attacking, but I'm doing no damage. Uh, the way Blade Fury work, for those who don't know, is that uh, you will still attack, and you will actually, um, you know, um, you will deal your 
uh, orb effects when you are attacking, even if you deal no damage. Uh, but you will deal no damage to units that are affected by Blade Fury. That means you will actually attack for zero damage if the unit is affected by you know the damage of Blade Fury. But you will actually deal damage if the unit is not affected by Blade Fury. That means magic immune units or mechanical units. So that means if someone uses BKB, you can still use Blade Fury and attack and be immune to, well, basically use it as a BKB. So you have a free uh, five second BKB when enemies use their own BKB. If they don't have their, if they don't use BKB, you have to remember that you're, well, basically losing a lot of uh, damage output, especially if you have like late game damage, uh, like I do. So he has, yeah, Necro. It doesn't really matter. I'm not sure. I don't think he can kill me one on one. Oh, but. Uh, can I jump on something else than a weaver? I'm not really sure he can kill me. No, he can't. And actually, I'm getting a lot of gold from that. So they wasted a lot of things to try to kill me. I'm still fine. Weaver's still around, so that's, uh, that's good to know for me. Just scaring him away. I shouldn't have used my Blade Fury here. Blade Fury is still use is always useful. Oh, Pudge is actually still you no know, hunting down people here. That's good. And I almost have my uh, Tessellator as well. So you may be wondering, yeah, well, everyone is pushing together here in the middle lane. What are we doing on the top lane? It's actually it's actually creating space as well because they're trying to kill me and they're not actually managing to do so. So, oh, they should back. Oh, well, or, or not? Well, never mind. Ursa just got a a weaver for free. So, for instance, look at the tower. The tower is taking damage from my attacks, and I'm using blade fury. The reason is because the tower is not affected by. My Blade Fury, of course. It's a structure, so... I can just do that. What was that for? Why, why, why did she silence me like that? I could have killed her uh, by using a silence, but... Okay, I think I have enough jumps for, for me to kill her. Yep, she's dead. No, black coal, I was silent. Oh, I had cooldown on this orchid. Oh! No, too bad. Never mind. Run! Run! Use cheese! Yes. There we go, minus one. Minus two, Weaver still around, being annoying, and he got stunned by the uh, by the uh, abyssal blade. All right, that's good. So see when you say yeah, we <laughs> when silencer said we need damage, we don't necessarily need damage because Ursa deal damage, and this guy with the aura, uh, the natural order just make it very hard for them to fight if there's anyone here. Uh, full survivability. Well, it's. <laughs> This true that his Weaver going for... I don't know why Weaver is going for full HP, so that was... That Vanguard is really not... yeah, not really not doing that much work. I think he was trying to avoid dying to Silence Report or something? I don't know. Again, it's, it's something that I find really strange, so... Okay, we... I don't think I need a... I'm gonna go for a gem. Go gem. Does someone already have gem? Because if someone does have gem, I'm really stupid. No, okay, no one has gem. So at least I don't look stupid. That's good. I'm gonna go for Senjin Yasha. For more, more uh, you know, mobility, being uh, making them unable to kite me, basically. And I can go for a butterfly after that, if I want to. For more attacks. 
again, with that type of build I'm doing is all in on, uh, you know, ultimate. Your, your regular attacks also deal a lot of damage, but as you can see, I can easily kill Queen of Pain plus like a whole creep wave with my ultimate. And now that I have Tessellator, it's going to be even stronger. Okay. Oh, by the way, this damage, the Midnight Pulse, goes through Magic Immunity, so we have to be very careful. Uh, even if you spin with your um, Blade Fury, you're still affected by that. Or I could go for Shadow Blade to catch uh, the Nature's Prophet by surprise. Or I could go for... no, never mind. Well, actually, he's still here. No, um, I have a gem. So I could also go for a mental style, but uh, my illusion don't benefit from my items. Desolator doesn't uh, doesn't go on the uh, illusions. The minus armor is going to help the illusion damage, but the plus 60 damage actually do not exist. Uh, same for the Aghanim Scepter, I mean it doesn't really do much for the illusions. So mental style here, I don't think it's actually a good idea. Well, it, it's always nice to be able to put more pressure on the towers, but overall I do not believe it's a good choice here. So see, Omnia Slash back up again. Nature's Prophet trying to uh, prevent the... Okay, alright, whatever. So I got silenced. That's, um... Well, that does save the Enigma for a little bit of uh, time. No, ouch. Okay, we're maybe going to lose a set of ta uh, a tower here. Someone take ages. Well, global silence is ready. We should take the fight now. Nice. There you go, two crits, goodbye. Goodbye. And there we go, that's a win. So in the end, see? No need to flame punch, he did his work, although early game he did got crushed. And this ward makes it so easy to just keep on pushing and keep on pushing. Okay, that <laughs> that wasn't obvious. <laughs> um, I just want this. That's all. Let's. Come on, come on, be mannered. Guys, come on, guys, no, guys, come on.
That Weaver really deals no damage whatsoever. No, Pudge! Pudge, be a bro! Yeah, let's save Enigma. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I apologize for the computer crashing and you missing up the beginning, but um, yeah, so you didn't really miss out that much information. Just about like you know not having enough that uh, not having enough disables and pretty much uh, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. As you can see, even going for weird builds such as Orchid, even if uh, you know Silencer finds it very weird, you really have to remember that adaptability is the key in pub games. Uh, you really really have to keep in mind that you're not gonna be playing like the pros. Uh, you're not DK. You're not EG. You're not IG. So. You know, um, I talked briefly about the uh, support juggernaut of Lanham in DK in uh, the International and I also said that it is very unwise to go for that in a pub game because if you actually paid attention to what Lanham was doing, it was in conjunction of his other support. He other, his other support did everything for him, stacked the camps and also made sure that he was buying all the, support, uh, all the wards and everything and his has, uh, DK had strong lanes so juggernaut could be, you know, uh, jungling and the other lane still not losing. So in the end, um, you know, doing that in a pub is really risky. You're probably going to end up with a, you know, 25-30 minutes Aghanim Scepter and be useless the entire game. So I really advise against going, uh, you know, advice against doing that. Um, somehow the Queen of Pain was 6.2k MMR. So I guess, yeah, maybe she was bored in the sense that, you know, some guys with high MMR, when they start losing, they just stop trying. It's kind of an asshole way to put it, but it's what they do. So, well, I hope you guys still enjoyed this game, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!